Hello, and here is another little study skills extra help presentation. Um, I start my year with my freshmen on a few things, and one of them is these little, hopefully helpful, practical little guides to help them along early on in their high school careers. And I just think this one is one of the habits of the best students, and there's this big misconception that the people in school that ask for help are stupid or they struggle. And in my experience, my best students ask me the most questions and ask me for the most feedback and ask me for the most help. So I really try early on to get rid of that myth that asking for help is somehow a sign of stupidity or weakness or something. It's, it's really the opposite. It's a sign that you're interested, you're engaged, and you want to learn things. So here's a, um, I actually workshop this during a whole class period with my students and guys come up and invariably screw up the order and I, I walk them through it. So here we go. How do I ask teacher for extra help? So here's the context. Let's imagine it's Tuesday. You're in my class. There's a paper due Friday. And you want help. Bell rings. Okay, what's the first thing you say when you come up to me? Excuse me. So write all the steps. Excuse me. Step one, excuse me. Why start with that? Um, maybe because I'm paying attention to other things, and this is the polite way to interrupt somebody. That's really the reason. Always start any conversation like this with, excuse me. Two, an undervalued question. Do you have a second? And I know it might seem like, well, of course my teacher has a second. My teacher's job is to help me, so he always has a second. Not true. You know, I might be answering an email after class from a, a parent uh, who's going through a very difficult time with her student, her son. And that's what I'm paying attention to. Or I might be helping another student at that time. If you start any interaction with, excuse me, do you have a second? It's a way to honor that person's job and time. And I, I tell the story that um, I remember shopping for appliances and I was in a, a big, you know, home goods store. I was in like Home Depot or something and it was, it was pretty crowded and there was uh, an employee in the appliance uh, area, clearly working in that area. And she was at the register, like clearly busy at the computer, clearly busy. And a guy came up to her and just launched into his question. Well, I need this and I want this. And like she helped him, but it was clearly like a strained conversation because he just didn't respect her enough to even ask, like, excuse me, like you're clearly busy. Can, can you help me? Um, and I just think if it's in a retail situation or you're really anywhere in life, Always start these conversations with, excuse me, do you have a second? Most people are willing to help. But what you'll find is people that are normally not disposed to help, people maybe if they're having a bad day, um, if you honor them and honor their time, you'll notice that they, they're, they're willing to, to help you. So excuse me, do you have a second are two really important uh, golden sentences. Step three. Explain what you've already done. Don't go on and on. The bell rang. You probably have another class to go to. But you could say, excuse me, do you have a second? Sure. Um, I have an outline for my paper and I'm struggling with the introduction. So I can show you my outline, but is, you know, start there. Don't imply to the teacher that you want the teacher to hold your hand through every step of the process and that you're not willing to do any work by yourself. Again, that's kind of a childlike thing. You're trying to be behave like an older person. Do everything you can do, then ask for help. Show the teacher what you've done. Four, easy to forget this. I've done this. You may, you have a really good conversation. You're going to get help from somebody. You leave and you don't make a plan. So excuse me, do you have a second? Here's my outline. I need help with the introduction to the thesis. When are you free? And you and the teacher come up with a time to meet, maybe after school that day. Make sure you know where. Make sure you know where your teacher's going to be. Three o'clock in your office. Great. What if you don't know where the teacher's office is? What do you do? You ask. The teacher's more than happy to tell you. And last but not least, Mr. Bean says it. He's right there. Thank you. Again, it, it, it seems like it's obvious, right? This person should want to help me. But it's the polite thing to do, you know? Excuse me, do you have a second? Here's the work I've done. I was wondering if we can meet. You make a time. You, make a, you schedule a meeting. And you politely say thank you. This could take 15 seconds. But again, this is how polite, mature grown-ups interact. If you want to be treated like a grown-up, this is a way to behave like one and a way to get help. So I hope this helps you.